Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Crowbar. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Hello. Hi. So today we are doing a Sims 4 build. We're doing a country club sort of build. Um, this took an insane amount of time. Like, an insane amount of time. <laughs> um, I, I decided to make it a speed build just so it wouldn't take that long, but... Uh, let me tell you, I don't usually do larger builds. I, I get bored in residential lots making a giant house, and in public lots, I definitely need the smaller the better for me to actually want to furnish it. I had a lot of fun with the outside, which is something I don't normally say when doing a larger build. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then the inside, I... I had some trouble with, uh, seeing as I've never really been into a country club before, I didn't know what to expect. Um, and so because of that, I had to Google what would be in a country club and that sort of thing. But yeah, um, I put it under the lounge lot type under the Sims 4, um, and it's on the gallery right now. So if you'd like to download it, you can totally do that. I believe my username is crowbar26. I have no idea if that's accurate or not. Uh, but you can always uh, search Pure Country Club because that's what I tagged it under. Uh, but yeah, it uh, we went with white. Um, everything's white in the build. Um, I felt that gave it a really expensive sort of vibe. Um, whenever I go visit a uh, family who might have a country club, um, everybody's wearing white. You know, it's that golf look, you know, white shorts or like a white skirt, you know, that's sort of what it is. Um, and so I wanted to represent that. So I used the, um, white marble in the, f on the flooring. So on the downstairs and the upstairs. Um, however, I'm getting way ahead of myself. We're doing the exterior right now. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this was the most stressful, uh, build. I actually built, uh, three Sims builds today. Um, the other two I already posted on my channel. Um, and this was the third one I built, but I had a doggy play date, which meant that my dog and my brother's dog were playing together and just sort of having a lot of fun. And I mean, that's great, right? Except they decided they wanted to play on me, which meant that I was trying to build this while being attacked by dogs. Um, so that was fun. But anyway, in the country club, uh, I was using a reference photo online just because that's the only way I was going to get this done. And I really liked the way it turned out. I liked uh, the reference photo had a lot, a lot of roofs. And I, I don't usually do this many roofs. Uh, the reference photo, I didn't copy it exactly. It had way more roofs. I decided not to do most of them because uh, I figured this was probably good enough for The Sims. Um, and I liked how it turned out. I mean, the roofs look like a mess from the over, like overhead view, but, um, uh, I think they look really nice from the ground level, which is really nice. And I wanted it to be this like expensive sort of like, you'd see it from a golf course, you'd see it from, you know, uh, a mansion or something. I mean, this was for the pier, for the, uh, the world that came with cats and dogs. Um, I wanted to do it there just because that is such a pretty world. Um, but yeah, here I am uh, doing the pool right now. I figured a nice, large, bougie pool would be perfect. Um, definitely what you need in the backyard is just to have a nice pool. And I really wanted to do that, copy that fountain that's in the front um, that, you know, is in the world from The Sims team. I wanted to copy that like in the backyard or like under... Um, that like first portion under the like second story. So like, you know, in the first story, but like, there's no, there's nothing there. So I wanted to copy a fountain there, but I decided against it in the long run and to just make it this large walkway. I felt that was really elegant looking and it did not need a fountain. But yeah, I'm just putting stone in and ultimately just trying to, <coughs> sorry, um, 
trying to fix the columns and trying to, you know, fix, figure out what door I want and trying to center it. And I like the, the door and the window choices. Um, I think they're very glamorous. They're, they're the vibe of the country club that I was trying to inhabit without actually knowing what's in a country club, stuff like that. Um, So once we reach the interior, I can tell you a little bit more about that. Um, this is actually a longer build uh, than my other two builds uh, that I did today, just because this is a longer build in general, and so it took a long time to furnish everything, but I figured I would keep the experience just in case you guys wanted to recreate it or get some ideas. That's why I watch build videos, is so I can get some ideas on what I should build and how to get better myself. I was terrible roofing when I started. And I didn't know how to furnish and I was just awful at it. But I was watching speed builds and I got better because what they did looked nice. So I realized that that's what I should do. So that's what I recommend. If you want to get into the Sims build videos and you want to learn how to build better, that's what you do. You should just watch people build, figure out a style you like, and then build it. Um, but yeah, here I am trying to do a nice large staircase um, overhang area to look from the upstairs to the downstairs. I love like those types of builds, those like balcony, indoor balcony things. And you can see I'm like trying to figure out how to do it because I <laughs> forgot how to do it. Um, because you need to mark off that, that stair. You need to complete the room. And I was not completing the room. Uh, but yeah. Um, I figured out that that would not work, so I had to make it a little smaller, which is fine. Um, but I do like the finished look in the end. I definitely kept the vibe of wanting to make the um, upper floor a little smaller. And then making the lower floor really um, exclusive. What I wanted was the lower floor to be somewhere that people could go and hang out. And sort of like the boys club. You know, they... they they need to get in, they need to um, be allowed in, they need the invitation. And then the upper floor is like their perks, their amenities, the things that, like the bougie things that you get for being a member of this club. And that's the thing that I like about it. You know, the upstairs has this little uh, table outside and, you know, definitely like, it, I could imagine that being their restaurant. However, like you don't want to <laughs> combine the two believe me you don't um but yeah this is under the lounge uh trait because i figured um a country club is similar to a lounge right it has a lot of the similar features it's a place to go and hang out and everything obviously with the sims 4 with it being a lounge trait you can't ne necessarily uh, restrict anyone from going you just have to you know let anybody show up that they want but you know in gameplay wise you can just let people go and you can just imagine that they're all part of the neighborhood who paid their fee to be part of the country club i don't know uh, but yeah i really like this build i think it looks really pretty um <laughs> you can see i'm trying to figure out which bathroom i was working on the men's or the women's to find out what accents i should put in there um but yeah it has everything that needs to happen in the lounge um lock trait so you can definitely download it and use it. Um, but yeah, the lower floor, I wanted to do the bathrooms first just because I always do the bathrooms last and then I struggle to find out how to place it in a build. So I figured if I do the bathrooms first, then I'll know. Um, and then I figured I'd do the pool because, you know, it's gotta be a nice pool. People want to go swimming there. People want to like go there. And you know, it's not a kid friendly area. This is adults only. That's how I picture this place. Um, it's, it's exclusive, it's no kids, and it's a place to relax and have fun. So that's why I put these pool floaties out just to promote relaxation, right? Um, and then we should be working on the upstairs because I don't go back to downstairs for a while. Um, I'm trying to pick the, the colors of the room, right? And trying to get a bar set up, trying to get a really cool place for people to hang out and drink. 
Um, cause I imagine this to be free drinks up there. However, I realize that, um, you gotta pay for them in the Sims, but it's fine. Um, and then I realized I should probably make another bathroom upstairs just because I can't imagine someone walking upstairs or downstairs to go to the bathroom while they're upstairs drinking. No, it's gotta be just down the hall. So I included some more uh, fun things in there, uh, like the robe, because I figured this would be the perfect place to put in that sauna that you got from Spa Day. Now, I really love this piece in here just because I think it's an exclusive thing. I think it's not necessarily something that you can have anywhere but a spa and a country club, right? Or like, a, you know, a gym, right? You can definitely have it in a gym. And I figured this was probably the perfect place for it because it's, it's going to relax you, it's going to make you feel expensive, but it doesn't really cost a whole lot in general, right? It's, you just, it's steamy air, water. I was going to say steamy air. It's air that is steamed, right? Um, and now I'm making a little seating area because I definitely wanted to fill up a lot of the space in the area because I think it's a really good idea to make your public lots um, big from the outside just to make it look more intimidating to your neighbors. And then um, inside, you know, have a lot of open space, you know. Your home tends to be more crowded the smaller it is, right? Um, and then on the upper floor, I'm putting in this workout, or the lower floor, lower floor, I'm putting in this workout area just because I felt like that matched the sauna vibe and I'm trying to pick a speaker that worked with working out. Um, I decided electronica probably made sense. I have no idea. I listen to pop when I work out, but that's just a personal decision. Um, but yeah, I figured it'd be nice to, um, put a little workout area in there just so you can go and work out and no one else is probably going to be there at the same time you will be. Um, and in my head, that's how it goes. Obviously in the Sims, there's going to be a lot of people in that zone. Everybody's going to want to talk to you and look in the mirror and work out not ideal. And then in this room, I'm making a nice fireplace because when I, not making, I'm putting a fireplace down because when I looked up uh, country club ideas of like what's in it, a, fire, a fireplace room with a bunch of chairs showed up and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I can definitely see a bunch of bougie people talking about a really expensive things around a fire, sitting on a nice couch in their country club. You know, it's a, it's a cool place for everyone to hang out and talk and stuff. And I figured, you know what, this place needs it. So yeah, um, I believe we're nearing the finishing, finishing, the finishing touches now. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great day. If you like the video, please like it. Um, don't just like it in your head. You can like it in real life too. That's, that's fine. Um, and hit subscribe if you want to see more amazing content or mediocre content, because that's what you're getting here. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not funny. I, I know that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, we're just finishing the outside touches and you can download this build off the gallery. Um, it's already there and you can check out my other videos if you want. Um, I make some spore content and I have posted some Minecraft content as well. So whatever floats your boat, you know, I make builds here. Um, I'm sort of more of a creative person, so I tend to make builds rather than gameplay, especially on The Sims. So yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day, um, and I hope you'll come back later. Bye!